hi everyone let's provide the solution to this problem here okay this is x multiplied by x plus x multiplied by x multiplied by x equals 12 okay so how do we deal with this x times x is x squared x multiplied by x multiplied by x is x to the power of 3 and this is now equal to 12. Now you are expected to write the one with the highest power first. So this step is for us to reposition. So we have this then we have 12 over here. Now this 12 can exist like this. So you have x to the power of 3 plus x squared equals 12, which will be 8 plus 2. Okay? Okay, it's 8 plus, plus 4, right? Because it's 12 and not 10. Now, this will now give us x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 equals 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 2. Now look at the left hand side and the right hand side. What do you see? Okay, can you see any resemblance? Okay, now let this and this be brought together and then this and this be brought together so that we will now have x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 then plus x to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2 then this is equal to 0 we can group this and deal with it we have not changed the equation right now here is difference of two squares two cubes rather difference of two cubes remember that if you have this this is the same thing as a a minus b right into a squared plus a b plus b squared okay that is for the difference of two squares alone so the next part is to express this in this form a minus b becomes x minus 2 a squared that will be x squared plus a b that will be x times 2 and that is 2x plus b squared that will be 2 squared and that is 4 then plus we have this difference of two squares which is x minus 2 into x plus 2 and then the next part is this we have this and this the same so we factorize x minus 2 out remember that this is equated to 0 or this should be equated to 0 so when we bring this out as the common factor we are going to have this x squared plus 2x plus 4 okay then plus x plus 2 because x minus 2 is already out here so the whole of this will be equated to 0 this is x minus 2 into x is coming down here x squared 2x plus x that will give us 3x 4 plus 2 that will give 6 then we equate this to 0 now we are multiplying this this right here and this to be 0 and this is in the form of a times b to be 0 so if you are multiplying two terms to be 0 to give 0 one of them must be equal to 0 so I'm going to say this is 0 which is x minus 2 equals 0 or x squared plus 3x plus 6 equals 0 x is equal to 0 plus 2 and then x is equal to 2 this is one of the solutions and we need more solutions so I'm going to bring this out this equation and it becomes 
x squared plus 3x plus 6 equals 0. Now, let's use the formula to deal with that. This is the formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Everything is over 2 multiplied by a. So if we want to go ahead with this, we will now substitute the value of a, b, c. a is 1, c, b is 3, c is 6. So our x will now be minus 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which will be 3 squared, then plus, plus, Okay, it's up. Uh, it's supposed to be minus this particular minus. So please, I will turn this to minus. Then we have four multiply by a. A is one. Then times c. Our c is six. So all of this is divided by two times one because a is one. If we go ahead now, we have x to be minus three plus or minus square root of three squared is nine. Then minus 4 times 1 times 6, that will be 24. Remember, this is minus, like I said before. Then we divide by 2 times 1, which is 2. Now, if we go ahead from here, x will be minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 24 will give us minus 15. And this is divided by what? By 2. Now, let's continue. Okay, let us continue from here. So, our x is minus 3 plus or minus square root of negative 15 over 2. Okay. And this right here is the same thing. to so x equals minus 3 plus or minus square root of 15 times square root of negative 1. Remember, this is still divided by 2. So if we go ahead, x will be minus 3. Plus or minus, we have i root 15. Because square root of negative 1 is i. And then we will now divide that by 2. So this is a 2 in 1 solution. Let's bring the 3 solutions together. We had our x before, which is x1 to be 2. Then x2 is from here minus 3 plus i root 15 divided by 2 that is one of the values then x2 x3 rather is minus 3 minus i square root of 15 divided by 2 so these three are the solutions to the equation